Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Excel video 291. I'm speaking for MGMA's annual conference this fall in San Antonio. Not so much Excel this year. It's a lot more data mining and if you have this data here's some tools and some ways to think about working with that data. Some presentations I really think that will be helpful for you and I'd love to see you in San Antonio. Remember that guy that told you last time, okay, we're done with filters? Well, I got thinking about it and I said, wait a minute, there's another filter I haven't showed you. I want to show you the search box filter that's new in 2010 and how you might use that to make your pivot tables even better. If you're following along, what I did is I moved the patient field down into row labels, moved the other fields we were dealing with up in the report filter area, and then made sure that I turned all the filters off so I've got all everywhere. I've got all my patients and they're sorted here by the sum of the amount and it's easy for me to just go through and say no 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 whoops let's sort them this way that's what I really want let's sort them alphabetically I want to show you how the search box works so if we come over here and here we have label filters it's a lot like label filters but it's right here it's the search box and if you start ty typing A B B O T what Excel will do is say hey you know what I can find those and it'll go down through here and there's all the Abbots and I can click OK and that fast there's everybody whose last name is Abbott. Watch what happens if I I can either clear the filter up here or I can just start typing again. We'll just do Johnst. There's all the Johnstons and if I come back and say no I want John I'm gonna get Johnny and John and Johnny spelled a different way and eventually we're gonna get down to the J's we're gonna get Johnson Johnston and then people that with first name John and Johnny again. If you had a label filter you could always say starts with J-O-H-N and just get Johnston and you wouldn't get somebody like Johnny Moore or Johnny Morrison. But the beauty of this is it's easy it's easy to just type and you can get what you want without having to go to label filters and click one more time to do it. That's what the search box is. It's a really clever way to just quickly search for what you're looking for and I use that search box a ton when I'm filtering data. I'll give this thing a second. And there's all my John and Johnny's all the way down to John's sons. That's how the search box works. Stay tuned next time I want to show you one more thing. What if you want all the Abbots and all the Johnstons? Can you do uh, both of them together? If you try to do a label filter and you try to do begins with, you're gonna, you can get begins with Abbott or you can get begins with Johnston but you can't get both. There's a way to get both in the search box, and I'll show it to you next time. Thanks for watching.